Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and Fusion 360 and this little summer challenge that is a parametric challenge. This is a very simple piece, a piece of flat bar with some holes in it, this is an odd number, this is an even number and the whole idea of this is to drive everything with one single parameter. Just going to show you. We're going to show a look at the drawing in a short while. Uh, these are basically the same numbers as in the drawing later, and I can simply change the length of this part. And there we'll add and subtract holes. So you can see the distance from this hole to the edge changes because I have uh, set up some rules how I want this to be. This could be used for, for something like uh, if you have an IKEA like this pegboard, where you do this and you can simply just change the length of the part, of course there will be holes, there will be pegs in the design, but the idea is the same, you should be able to change the length and you can have set up some rules so that you always get enough pegs in the correct orientation and place. So let's have a look at the drawing. This is a drawing and the whole idea, as I said, this is a parametric model, is that this distance here, the length of the past, is driving the exact number of holes and the placement of the holes. I have set up some rules myself. Uh, the basic dimension first of the width of a part is 20 millimeters. That's the width in this direction. The thickness is 3 millimeters, 3 millimeter thickness. The holes are set out of diameter of 8 millimeters. There are five of them here. There's eight here. Uh, the hole spacing center to center is fixed. 20 millimeters. I know to hit fixed 20. And you can see this is the like the first design of this, and this is the one I drive by just changing one parameter. And it's still 20. That does never change. Holes are symmetric on part length in this design. There's odd numbers, so of course, the center holes and it's in the middle. This here has an even number of holes. That means that the center here will be in the center of the distance between these two holes here. Uh, the variable values as edge to center of hole is a minimum 12 millimeters, I noted here. So the distance from this edge here to the first hole here are the same from this distance, of course, is a minimum of 12 millimeters. It can be anything larger than that, but it gets so large that there's a place for another hole, there should be one more hole that's done and this done here. So, and part length if, of course, the driving parameters are by change of these numbers, 104 here up to 165, you should be able to go from this model to this model without changing anything else. Else. And what I'm just to have something to compare if you're doing this is uh, what is the volume of this part in simply cubic millimeters. If all dimensions are in millimeters. What's the distance in this here? And of course, it's 12 or more. It cannot be lower than 12 because that's for how I set up a part. So, there are a couple of different ways to do this. Hope you can have some fun with it and, and enjoy this summer weekend that's coming up. Take care, see you around, and goodbye. 